Alright, so doing some funky grooving with something very similar to Listen to the Music by Doobie Brothers. And what I've got here is an E chord. Okay, but instead of playing the actual E chord, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build off this side of it with some fragments. So the first thing I'm going to do is play this little hammer on from 9 to 11. And then I'm going to head over and I'm going to play this part of the chord, but with my first finger. Now you'll notice again, what makes these songs kind of difficult for people to play is the fact that you've got to get used to being able to keep this thing going. And be able to lift and press when you want sounds. And then the next introduction we get is into this, again, this 70s chord, which originally it, it originates from the cage chord system. So what happens is I go from playing these nines, I'm going to add my middle finger on the 10th fret of the 2nd string and the 11th fret of the 4th string. So I have... Okay, and that's how you get that sound. Now you might pick it up a little bit in tempo. I could add the E string in the bass. You know, I mean, there's a lot of little things I could do with it, but that's the idea. So again, we're fragmenting, we're playing part of a bar chord instead of playing the entire bar chord, and then we're actually adding in this little caged idea. <laughs> 